Halogens, such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, are commonly seen as electronegative atoms. They act as electron donors, for example, in hydrogen bonds. However, when halogen atoms form covalent bonds, their electron density is sometimes non-uniformly shared, leading to special types of interactions. Halogen bonds occur when there is evidence of a net attractive interaction between an electrophilic region associated with a halogen atom in one molecular entity and a nucleophilic region in another or the same molecular entity. Typically, the halogen bond is defined by three atoms, Rx and Y. The Rx group acts as the halogen bond donor, where X is the halogen atom covalently bound to an R group, which may be a carbon, nitrogen, or another halogen atom. Based on its electronegativity, the halogen atom has a region of partial negative charge, but the non-uniform distribution of electron density around the covalent bond results in a partial positive charge on the halogen, creating a positive sigma hole. When a nucleophile or electron-rich atom is positioned close to the sigma hole, it functions as the halogen bond acceptor. Since biomolecules such as proteins and nucleic acids do not commonly have covalently bound halogens, the halogen bond donor is usually a ligand or a drug molecule, and the biopolymers such as proteins and nucleic acids form the acceptors. Let us look at the example of the hormone thyroxine bound to human serum albumin. Note, several thyroxine molecules are bound to the protein in this structure. Thyroxine, or tetraiodo-L-thyronin, has four iodine atoms, each covalently linked to a carbon atom in these two ring structures. If we zoom in to examine the interactions of one of these thyroxines, we notice that Two iodines bound to this one ring of thyroxine form two halogen bonds. In both cases, the iodine atoms covalently bound to the ring carbons form the halogen bond donor, while a backbone oxygen atom positioned close to the iodines form acceptors of the halogen bonds. Note that the angle between the carbon, iodine, and oxygen in both cases is close to 180 degrees, and the distance between the iodine and oxygen is less than the sum of their van der Waals radii. Let's look at another thyroxine bound to this protein to see if we can identify a halogen bond. There are two side chains in the neighborhood of this thyroxine with electronegative atoms that could potentially act as halogen bond acceptors, a histidine and a methionine. The histidine nitrogens are a little too far away from any of the iodines, but the methionine side chain is close to one of the iodines. Although methionine is generally considered a non-polar amino acid, the sulfur atom in the side chain is large and has many electrons. By bringing the partially positive region of the iodine close to the sulfur causes attractive interactions, forming a halogen bond.